Hey YouTube, this is back here on the farm, pouring bags of concrete, making a trap for the swing auger on the grain dryer so it's easier to push. We're trying to pour about two and a half, three inches, so we do a three and a half inch form and then we're just coming down in it. So nothing too particular, but it's 30 above out today. Uh, so she's setting up plenty fast. 55 pound bags, call three and go. more about It doesn't have to be perfect. We could have just as easily packed it with the plate tamper and uh, put sidewalks blocks down to make it roll easy. So we don't have to be, we want it good, but I mean, we don't need it perfect. So we're mixing 10 bags at a time. So that's 550 pounds of dust. Normally, you would get a truck, but this was only one cubic yard, so I just bought the bags at UFA in Fairview. Good folks there, and uh, thought we'd just pour this by hand to remember what work was like. You know, I'll rethink it by the time I'm done. <laughs> Okay, so that 30 above pouring concrete, I looked at my phone part way through and it had just shut off because it was overheated sitting in the sun. <laughs> so anyhow, we finished. It's not the smoothest hand troweling, but uh, again, for what we're doing, it's just to make it level-ish for pushing this uh, grain auger discharge on. Had a few bags left over and... Uh, that's fine, it worked out good. I think it'll hold up just fine. And then we just started leveling gravel and pulling bins into place here to get them out of the road. And then we're gonna have three dry bins here. So tomorrow we'll be just leveling this ground here in front up to that power supply. The electrician is coming Monday. So we're hoping uh, by the end of tomorrow, we'll have all these bins leveled in place and uh, ready to rock and roll for the electrician. And then we need to switch over and get swathing and desiccating out in the field and let the harvest begin. All right. Take care. Bye now.